Welcome to your regular property market update for Earlham, Caddishead and Rixton. As spring heads towards summer, let's see if the market had a spring bounce that we usually see at this time of the year. Let's start with Caddishead. Stock levels for the month of May show us there were 76 houses available for sale. Looking back over the last six years, then there has been an average of 59 houses. And looking at last year, there were 71 houses available. And with 70 available last month, 76 is clearly the most amount of houses available in the last six years. Obviously, it's not a massive difference to last year, but it's one to keep an eye on. There were 19 new home listings, all looking for a sale in May, with an average asking price of 208,683. This equates to £223 per square foot. Last month I talked about £237 square foot average, so this shows prices have come down slightly. On screen now is the distribution of pound per square foot for Caddishead, shown in blue compared to M44 as a whole in green. 11 sales were agreed in Caddishead, with an average asking price of £231.771. This equates to £242 per square foot. Again, if we look to last month, this saw a £228 per square foot average. So, this is certainly a positive sign from the market that A, sales agreed are higher square foot to those asking prices, and also B, it's higher than last month. But last year's average was £253 per square foot. So we are still down on prices achieved last year. It's also good to note that there were 14 price adjustments made compared to an average of four over the last six years. Six houses were withdrawn from the market, same as last month and there were five home sales that fell through, with only two last month. That figure is on the rise, so an unlucky month for many home sellers. Let's jump across to the border on Liverpool Road and step into Earlham. Stock levels for the month of May show us there were 88 houses available for sale. Over the past six years shows an average of 79, so slightly lower than average, However, last year, May gave us 106 properties for sale, so more choice last year to this. There were 16 new home listings for sale in May, with an average asking price of £267,656, which equates to £272 per square foot. That's £58,973 more than its neighbour Caddishead. Last month, we talked about two figures. One. The average asking price in the area was £242.856, which is lower than this month's. However, the average pound per square foot last month was £293, which is much higher than May's. So some conflicting information here, but this will be down to certain properties or certain roads being worth more than others last month and that's it available at the moment. Sales agreed now, and this was a big positive for May. 28 sales were agreed, the highest amount since 2019, which saw 30 sales in one month. The average for the area being 21 sales a month, so a very positive sign for home sellers. Here is the historic price per square foot in Earlham. As you can see, the red lines show inflation, and the blue line is Earlham's growth in price per square foot. There were 11 price adjustments, two homes were drawn from the market and five fall throughs. That makes 10 sales falling through in Earlham and Caddishead and shows the amount of house sales that don't make the finish line. This is why we introduced reservation agreements into our processes to stop these fall throughs happening. Feel free to direct me at any time if you've never heard of these or no idea what I'm talking about. And last but not least, let's jump across to that very sought after village of Hollins Green and Rixton. These stats also include areas of Birchwood and Lowton. There are currently 63 houses for sale, higher than the average of 52 and four more than last month. There were 16 new homes brought onto the market at an average asking price of 223,747. That equates to 295 pound per square foot. This is getting close to the six year high of £309 per square foot, which we saw in 2020 when the market went absolutely mental. Last year, the average pound per square foot was £266. So we have seen a jump in the last 12 months, which is a positive for the area. 
More importantly, there were 17 sales agreed in May. With the six year average being 13, this also shows positivity in the market. The average asking price for sales was £228,232, which was £277 per square foot. Both showing promise with last month's figures being £194,353 and £235 per square foot. So we have positive moves on all fronts in this area of WA3. Does this trend carry on over into those negative figures of fall throughs and withdrawn, withdrawns? Let's take a look. There were six price corrections, five homes withdrawn and six fall throughs, all of which were higher than the six year averages. So disappointing finish to the market wrap. Here is a dotted graph showing the highs the area has achieved in sales with some strong results in July 23 and June 22. Overall, I am very happy with the way the market is. There were obviously good news for the financial markets last month, which has led to Rishi calling a general election. With these positive reports about inflation being lower and some positive results with sales made in the area, we could possibly see interest rates come down within the next three months. Who knows, time will tell. As always, I am on hand to any of you for any property advice, or if you like an up-to-date valuation, whether you are selling or not, please get in touch by calling 0161 696 5050. Have a great June, and I will see you again this time next month.